Li Wei Sen is a spokesman for the Taiwan Central Emergency Operations Center. He's joining us now from Taipei. Good to have you on. Could you just first update us on the conditions right now on the ground? Okay, according to the report released by the Central Weather Bureau, the typhoon had made a landfall around uh, 5.50 this morning in Taimali, Taidong. And according to the latest numbers, the Kedri, we got one people die and one people get injured. Right now, the major problem is about the electricity. According to the number in COC, totally about uh, 73 household ever suffer the power outage, but right now we already fixed about uh, 22,000. Currently, I think evacuation is our major point. Till 6 a.m. this morning, we already evacuated about 15,000 people to shelter. They are mainly from the Hualien County, Kaohsiung City, and New Taipei City. Each county or the city ever evacuated over 3,000 people. Uh, till now, we only received 40 cases about the flood, but all the flood received. So we are expecting more strong winds and rains from the right now to the morning. I think first hit, as you mentioned, is the eastern part of Taiwan. After the typhoon moved a little bit uh, northward, I think the southern part of Taiwan, like the Kaohsiung, like the Jiayi and the Tainan, could suffer some torrential rain. And about the uh, precipitation, right now the most uh, station received uh, uh, about the 318 millimeter in the past uh, 24 hours. That is the most updated situation in Taiwan. Well, that, that's a very thorough uh, uh, pricey of what's going on. We do appreciate that. I mean, you, you knew it was coming, so obviously a lot of preparation was made. Uh, what has caught you by surprise, perhaps? We know that it's coming ashore a little bit further south than initially uh, suspected. Uh, has that created a difficulty at all? No, because uh, that is the under our uh, risk analysis. Uh, since we uh, start to analyze Typhoon, we expect he will bring trouble not just to the eastern part of Taiwan. And when Typhoon moves to Little Sea South, I think the South part will be the second target. Uh, actually, uh, from the local to central government, we have to do some preparation. But we still prepare for the worst and hope for the best. Uh, and in terms of the biggest concerns, I mean, flooding obviously high up there, right? Because uh, the storm is already creating really large waves and also landslides uh, a major concern as well i'd imagine yes i think uh first impact about strong winds because strong winds usually cause a lot of power outage then you no know, when the typhoon moves a little bit the door, uh, southwards when the rain cloud hit the central ridge also will create a huge precipitation in mountainous area beside the flood and uh, we also have the kind of threat from the debris floor or the uh, landslide. Those could cause some the road interruption or also could have some damage to houses. So this is why we have to evacuate a lot of people in Kaohsiung district uh, yesterday afternoon because uh, our policy, early evacuation in daytime is the most appropriate way and the safety way to keep everyone in safe condition. So this is why yesterday we already evacuated 3,392 from Kaohsiung City. And then looking at that video there, we're watching video of fishing boats being taken out and put ashore. I mean, uh, you, you seem very well organized, uh, sir. And uh, good luck for the rest of this storm as, as you ride it out. I will check in perhaps a little later. Li Wei Sen, who is spokesman for the Taiwan Central Emergency Operations Center. We appreciate your time. I know you're busy. Thank you.